counting your fingerlings can be very stressful for both you the farmer and the fingerling especially if you don't have a counting table i can really understand i can resonate because i know it's kind of a bit expensive for you to have a counting table and also even having a, a counting machine i really do understand so in this video i'm going to show you how you can use rubber plates yes use rubber plates to make your counting table it's super easy and effective you can use any type of rubber plate to do this so welcome to my channel it's your girl music your farm lady if this is your first time stopping by you're warmly welcome and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe so let's dive in and show you how you can use rubber plates to make your counting table. things you need to get put together for you to make your diy counting plate yes so you need to have knife for you to cut the 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 rubber you need to have marker to mark the to demarcate the area you want to cut out scissors for your shine paper and you also need to have a rubber plate this one is cut already so so don't use a super flat rubber plate right because it can really hold some water use a plate that can at least hold some amount of water so that's the rubber plate i'm using you can use any rubber plate of your choice but ensure that the rubber plate match with a rubber bucket right that can super fit in like this so by so doing you just like be counting your fish like this right so now let me show you how you can do this so i've already cut this one using uh, my knife so i use hot knife to cut this already you can use any other object that you think you can use to cut so when you cut ensure to remove like all other uh sharp space and make sure it's a little bit smooth or else you will really hurt your fish so after cutting your desire hole you can use your scissors to cut the shine paper the shine paper helps you to really smooth the edges so at least you don't hurt the fish while they are passing through the sole into your room. so you can use any type of uh, thing that you can see to your edges i am using shine paper to do that so use shine paper to really uh, smooth the edges of the split and make it much easier and also prevent your fish from hurting so now it's kind of smooth you see so i'm really going to do it uh, it's smooth so and then this is how you have to do it to ensure you put water in your bucket and you put your fish here with water then you count it's super super easy for you to use a rubber plate as a counting plate yes using rubber plates as a counting plate so uh guys there's a diy how to use a rubber plate to make a counting plate and make it much easier for you and your finger list with this it's gonna be super easy for you to count your fish and it's a stress free for both you the farmer and so i hope i was able to teach you something so that's that's the diy for you to use whatever you have on your farm you can use the rubber bucket to do another stuff where you're not using it for counting your fish so i hope i was able to teach you something i hope you learned something and please can you tip us with a like comment and if you like content like this can you please subscribe to my youtube channel so that we can hit the 1000 subscriber goal by the end of the year till next time bye